Hi, hello everybody. Uh, good day. It's uh, bonfire night, I believe, in uh, London. Yeah, we're dealing with this uh, court order scam, our campaign to the government and all the election and stuff to do something about the army of uh, illegal bailiffs uh, terrorizing the public. And the uh, government uh, is talking a little bit. They've been responding to our campaign but they're not doing enough and uh, we haven't been restored despite the clear proof that it's all you know hundreds of uh, literally fake court orders being used against our family and and millions of uh, other members of the public so uh, here we go this is the latest we got this document it comes from uh, we got this copy from Andrew Wilson and their, their client uh, Optima Legal Services. We asked them for the writ. Uh, we had a large man uh, knocking at the door and said he had a writ. He couldn't produce nothing. He couldn't even identify himself. So what it is, uh, Vitality Live, um, claiming against my business, Churchill Finance, now what it is, the FCA has terminated my license on the register, uh, uh, financial advisor register, on the basis that I was a trespasser in my home, <laughs> who I owned the property. Um, and despite the evidence, uh, even the court confirming in writing uh, from Hendon Magistrates Court that no information uh, was laid against me. Uh, and in any way, it's impossible in law. So right now, um, this is what it is. Uh, Vitality Life, uh, apparently they're chasing me up for commissions, which um, they've closed on my incoming account and kept my outgoing account open. <laughs> so they haven't been able to give me any accounts to prove that I owe money. Uh, so this... This uh, alleged date was the 14th of March and it's written here on the document received the 18th of March. Uh, now, I just think they stamped that date to make it look like someone sent them on the 14th from the court and they received it on the 18th. I, I actually believe they made it up. So th this is my opinion. It has something there that says uh, a court seal and ladies and gentlemen that's not a court seal a court seal has a date in the middle that's just a button stamp you can buy documents off the internet from Westlaw with those stamps ready ready made on the document it ain't a court stamp so we go down here it says here you have not replied to the claim form <laughs> Now, the court has confirmed that I, I was never served uh, with this claim form. Uh, so, they're still carrying on. Uh, there are going to be some very interesting stuff on the end of this video. So, they said there was a £1,327.61 debt. And £182 for cost. Very important. Cost. Because the cost in, it must include the court fee. And nobody can produce this receipt for the court fee. So how can you be claiming costs for court fees that you didn't pay? Uh, that's quite a big uh, crime as far as I know. So if we go a little bit further into this uh, so-called legal document. We've got here a, a QR code on the document. <laughs> You're kind of a, a court document with a QR code on it. Give me a break. Um, uh, and then it says here, warning. So if you receive a document with the word warning on it, so it's a threat, isn't it? There's a danger. Somebody's going to do some harm to you. So uh, it says here, if you ignore this order, <laughs> what makes it an order? I wasn't served. There, there, there wasn't a fee paid. And you've got barcodes on the document. So it comes up here, Optima Legal, that's their address. Um, and then it has uh, uh, 
judgment in default. Okay, so it's in default. That, that means without my defense. Uh, or without a chance to defend. And it is signed off by someone called N. Rani. Whoever that is. So this is an interesting bit. They've put uh, the writ. And for some reason they've put part three in the as the first part for whatever reason in the high court of justice queen's bench division certificate dated so that it's a transfer up certificate um of a county court judgment allegedly uh seal a writ of control or possession they didn't specify which one it is control or possession directed to andrew j wilson enforcement authorized officer uh, so this certificate is dated blank <laughs> it's no date at all on it um so can't be a legal court document without a date and then uh the case they're transferring up to the high court is this case number here f 18 yj 624 uh, so that's the county court number. Now the high court number, somebody has handwritten uh, <laughs> the same number for the high court case number. Uh, this is very interesting. Um, how can you do such a thing? This, this is, uh, you know, uh, altering documents. Um, so we come back over here to cost and interest again zero so they never paid a court fee so how how can they get a claim and various claims warrants applications and, and no court fee uh, nobody can produce the receipt so here it has uh, so something that looks like the uh, high court seal uh, dated the 25th of April and then uh, the signature very interesting we all uh, probably heard of forgesignatures.com where you can upload uh, fake signatures like this one I mean whose signature is that for goodness sake uh, their address again so there's some interesting bit here Uh, the title in the High Court of Justice, High Court number blank. Queen's Bench Division, County Court claim number blank. Uh, sent from all blank. Everything is blank there. So this is how we're doing business nowadays. This is how the legal services are running on blanks. Maybe they're firing blanks. They, they will be brought to a halt uh, very soon. So it clearly says here, any application for a stay uh, should be made to the high court. So that means there must be a high court case number. And it has a name here, uh, R.L. Turner, Senior Master. But there's no signature or what, what did R.L. Turner do? So we come back to the certificate, uh, combined certificate of judgment and request for a writ of control or writ of possession. Uh, so the County Court Money Claim Center, they've got a claim number there and the date 24th of April. So we come back down here I intend to enforce this writ of control. Uh, Optima Legal Services Limited. Somebody just typed it in there. There is nothing. Um, and in what capacity did they type it? Are they the creditor? Are they legal representative? What are they? It's nothing. Um, another court seal, uh, fake court seal there. Uh, so here is a. Uh, the bit for court use only so presumably this bit is for someone from the court 
Um, so, a writ of control signed on 25th of April. So we got a, we got a, a black or gray 25th of April date stamped there on the document. We're going to come back to this later. But signed by what? Who? Whose signature is that? An officer of the court. What officer? Who, what's his name? What's, you know, what's his position? <laughs> uh, is this a legal document for someone to come and break my door? And uh, just sort of side interest, when they use this process to evict people, it says clearly here, this has been sent to the High Court for enforcement by a writ of possession against trespassers only so anyone getting a high court uh writ and they're not a trespasser it doesn't apply so uh yeah put an appeal why, why would you appeal against something that don't exist i mean that's the problem when we had toby lee's case we were fighting this is one of the key arguments i use to fight left right and center that he's not a trespasser and this Procedure can't be used against him in any way shape or form. So we got the police and the high court to to kind of be jammed uh, in checkmate on it um, So If we go down here It says here writ of control and then um, a High court seal there again 25th of April I'm going to come back to this 25th of April date there because uh, it's very important. So here we got um, David Gork MP, the blank, the what? <laughs> uh, and, and that line is a bit like a, a, a doctoring on the document because it's thicker on the left and thinner on the right. So uh, it's a doctored document, this. Um, and uh, assess cost of zero. This again. Where is the court fee? How can it be zero? That means you didn't pay a court fee. Civil Procedure Rule 3.72 says. If you don't pay the fee. The claim must be automatically struck out. Automatically struck out. And cost to the defendant. Um, I've also made a, a freedom of information request. It's on the internet. Uh, they cut clearly clarified it must be automatically struck out and 11,000 were struck out in one year alone for non-payment of the fee so why don't they strike it out for us they're only striking it out for the bad guys it would seem so here is the 25th of April again this time it's in red ink so uh, one day it's in red ink the same day they've they've put one in in gray ink so what it means is they have several of these stamps probably in their office just stamping in the dates and to make it look like a court stamp but when you put the documents together you can see clearly it's the same day so why is there two different stamps and uh all this once again in the name of the Lord Chancellor and Secretary of State for Justice, the Right Honourable David Gork. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure David Gork doesn't know anything whatsoever about this. And, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something from this. But I'm certainly, it's not going to end here. I'm taking this all the way. And uh, like I said, we've got over a hundred of these. And this court order scam must stop. Please support our petition www.scambuster.tv. Many thanks. How do you end this thing? Oh. I can't. <laughs>